Gratitude is really the experience of feeling grateful. And what you feel grateful about is individual to each of us. You may feel grateful for an event. You may feel grateful about another person. You may feel grateful about being alive. It's been called a social emotion because it's based on the recognition that others contribute to our well-being. So people who experience gratitude are also more likely to engage in acts of kindness, experience empathy, and helping others as well. We have learned thus far that it does appear that people who experience higher levels of gratitude often have certain improvements in health and particularly in behaviors that are important to health. There are numerous studies suggesting that it also can affect physical health. It's been associated with lower risk of developing chronic diseases, lower rates of pain, and reduced risk of cardiovascular disease complications. We did a study of patients who'd had a heart attack and we found those who felt grateful about being alive or grateful about their health right after their heart attack were more likely to become more physically active or to take better care of their health in other ways six months after the event. We know that it affects mental health in a variety of ways. It increases positive emotional well-being. That includes increasing feelings of happiness, feelings of life satisfaction, feelings of optimism. It reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety. So there's lots to learn, but it does seem like people who experience feeling grateful more often or more powerfully tend to do better both in terms of their physiologic health and in terms of the behaviors that they do to take good care of themselves. Even for folks who may not naturally experience high levels of gratitude, it is an emotion that can be cultivated. There are a variety of practices that people can use to cultivate these emotions. So this includes things like making a list of things for which you are grateful, writing a gratitude letter and giving it to someone. It seems like doing things like keeping a gratitude journal or even consistently recalling positive life events in a kind of scheduled or systematic kind of way. All of those more deliberate and repetitive and kind of habit-based approaches to gratitude seem to be potentially the most helpful in terms of one's health. The good news for health is it looks like whether you experience gratitude more naturally or you are working on practicing it and cultivating it more deliberately, the health benefits seem to be pretty similar. And the cool thing is it really does become kind of a virtuous cycle because often when people do things like physical activity, they feel better. Higher levels of gratitude in a population will also benefit societal health or community health. And that's because it helps to create better social relationships, which in turn creates more social cohesion and social capital in a community. Gratitude is not only good for my own health, but is also good for community and societal health.